What's up, everybody? Welcome to this Wednesday in New York City. Uh, today we're talking about how to get bigger, which is what we always talk about. And the one of the things people get wrong is they basically lose half the set because they're not set up. So I came in with this insanely clever acronym, PIT, which is Positioning, Intention, Tension. So before you do an exercise, if you don't have those three letters in place, it's not gonna work. Let me show what I mean. So we're starting with hamstring curls. The positioning would be the hips are down, the shoulders are slightly up to my hand. Now he's flexing his feet, shortening the hamstring, so there's already tension. And then he actually starts curling. So before he curls, a single rep, there's already tension on the hamstrings, thereby creating massive gains. Whereas if you come down here, head low, butt up, you're not getting anywhere. So that would be one example. Uh, another one, we talked about this, would be the squat. So if you go under the squat and you are somewhere like this, and then you start waddling out, and you start here, you're not getting anywhere. You have to get under the squat, flex your quads, keep them flexed, come out, drill the heels into the floor, tension, 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 and you keep pushing the floor away, and not so much yourself up. Keep the tension. So again, from the first rep, you should be ready. If you're spending time balancing on, oh, where am I, what should I do, you're losing the set. Okay? <clears throat> now, another one, bent over row. A lot of people, they go in, sloppy, start this, half a deadlift, nobody knows what they're doing. Instead, have your feet about shoulder wide, push them in the floor, glutes tight, abs tight, and then your intention is this line of pull. So. You create tension by putting the shoulder blades back, get that feeling of what you want to do, turn underhand grip, and see now I'm already tense in my lats, and I can maximize the exercise. So let me get the cable from underneath, and then Ian will set up for the deadlift. So, same idea. Feet go in, pushing the floor away, he comes down, Tension, intention is here, and now he's slowly coming up, not locking out, locking out for lazy people. So again, not a single rep is wasted. Okay? Another thing that always is done wrong, the leg press. So the leg press, first of all, range of motion. This, whatever you can pull, is it. Then, downward intention. It's different ways to play it. The head is always against the cushion, none of this. The hands are here. If your hands are here, you're cheating. It's too heavy. So, downward intention. You flex the quads on the way up and on the way down. You never lock out. This position would be more quad centric. You could go here and have a more inward intention with the knees, working your hamstrings a bit more. Always pushing from the heels. I'm overdoing it a bit by pulling my feet toward me. And then lastly, what you could do is you could go really wide and really high, pushing from the heels, it should be more glute specific. But again, the tension is always to be there. Positioning, tension, intention. This one here, the leg extension, often gets massacred. These handles, they're there for a reason. You're pulling yourself down into the seat. Now before he does anything, he flexes the quads, and now he comes out, till about here. You see the quads working at all times. He doesn't connect the weights. When the weights connect, let's show it for a second. 
here. There's no more tension. Okay? So positioning, then the intention is here, tension on the quads. Perfect. We talked about the bench, but that's probably the most butchered exercise. You just what happens. Somebody goes under, updates his Instagram, yo bro, about to do four plates. Goes under, and then, and does, does this, and then, oh crap, my grip's off. Oh, where am I? First rep goes here, and they get some tension. No. You go under, you stabilize your feet, you get a mild arch in your back, you either have the grip, about shoulder wide, you want to do triceps, or wider for the chest. You take it out and you pull it over, flexing the lats, really flexing. Then you're pushing the bar together, bending it together, because we're doing chest. Bring it down to here and back up. So this is your positioning. The intention is inward and the tension is on the pecs. And again, you don't lock out. And you won't believe this, but even the push-up gets murdered nowadays. So, Ian, if you may, the push-up, same idea. You're warping the floor and you're focusing, creating tension here, pushing the floor away. You don't come all the way up, you keep the tension. I mean, people say, oh, this isn't a military push-up, but we're not in the military, okay? <laughs> this is bodybuilding, that's what we're doing. Perfect. Ah, uh, cable flies. Cable flies, here's what happens. That does nothing. Okay? You step out, before you do anything, you have a bit of tension. And now, you bring them together, shoving the elbows together. From here to here. So your positioning is such that glutes, abs, everything is tight. The intention is here, and you create tension by coming in. You're not hugging the bear, no matter what your gym bro tells you. If you do this, you can't have tension on the pecs, you just can't, okay? So it will be from here to here. Then, another butchered exercise. Ian, if you will, the seated cable row. So, slight tilt, kind of like, yeah, I guess one o'clock. The shoulder goes forward. There's almost a, a string through his head. There's no whipping, there's no moving. Now drop the shoulder, pull it back, now we have tension, you see? So before he even starts pulling, there's tension in the, in the lats. So the positioning is that all this is tight. The intention is to drive the elbow backwards, and the tension is on here. Now what you often see is human goes forward, weight goes back. Now while this looks really cool, it does absolutely nothing for your physique. So don't buy it. Um, Dito with the single arm dumbbell row. So you need a three stand stand. For those of you that watch, they still watch football with this whole kneeling thing. So these three are anchored. You have a slight tilt and you pull into the hip. Okay, the head is neutral. None of this, you're not going sewing or fishing. You just have the tension from here. So the tension comes from here, everything is tight, and then you pull into the hips. Okay? So, that's that one. Then, we're having the tricep pressed on. So, the triceps, they move like this. Come back even more. So, most people, when they use like the, the short mushroom bar, the elbows cannot go by the body. So we're standing pretty upright, and now we're driving the hands all the way beside the body, exactly. So there's tension here. The intention is to flex down here, 
and then we create tension in the trice on the way up and down. Perfect. If your gym doesn't have a long rope, change gyms or use two of those, the little ones. You may do that too. Um, lat pull down. Anybody here knows how to set up? How wide should you grip? So people gripping here. So you have a bony joint here, the IC joint. From there, you go about two centimeters or one inch for you non-metric people to the outside. Then the feet are behind you. So they're here. This prevents whipping. So abs, glutes, everything is tight. And now I create tension by pulling my shoulder blades down. And now I drive my elbows into the rib cage. Okay? My upper body doesn't change position. Go straight from here to here. None of this. That's, that's all momentum. Shoulder blades go first, and then come the elbows into the rib cage. That is that. Ian, shoulder press. So before you do anything in the shoulder press, make sure it's on an incline press, meaning your lower back has to be against the pad. Shorten the abs a bit, kind of tuck them. Now bring the shoulder, the dumbbells about here, and shove the elbows together. Good, perfect. So the positioning is here, it's very tight, and then we create an intention of bringing the elbows together, and the tension sits here. That's perfect. Good. Now for biceps, my old gym, we did curls, we had to stand against the wall, so your elbows cannot move back. So I dug up this beauty. Anybody seen the infamous Arnold poster? The rope is a bit short, but you get the idea. That's probably the best 70 bucks you'll ever spend. The bicep blaster. Because now, you can't cheat. I actually prefer it without having the rope, because if I move my elbow, I lose the blaster, okay? So, curling up, curling out. Get a decent stretch, but don't relax fully. Abs, glutes, everything tight. It's just tension in the bicep, and the intention is till about here. You're curling any higher, you're pulling it inwards. So, to sum up, before you do anything, Try to remember, what am I doing? Which muscle am I training? How does it work? From there on, you figure out how to create the most tension and get yourself in position. If you position yourself during the set, your set's done. Guys, thanks for watching. Thank you, Muscle Mania. We'll see you Monday.